Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are starting out this weekend with some laundry. So I'm just getting stuff out of the dryer and then putting another load in. I feel like I'm always doing laundry, so it always needs done. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fold a load of laundry. When we first bought this house, I hated this door in here, but now that we've been living here for a little while, I actually really do like it. Um, so now I'm just going to put the clothes away. Here's a little peek into our closet if you have not seen it. It is fairly large, um, but somehow my husband still has way more clothes than I do, and I don't have enough space. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to put all of our clothes away. Um, this is our new dresser. I will be showing you a um, home decor tour very, very soon. Probably in the next couple vlogs um, I'll show you, but we still have this broken dresser out in our garage. I just needed to go out here and get the rest of my clothes and bring them in so I could organize my dressers. Moving on into the bathrooms, I had some sick kids over the week, so I needed to really deep clean the bathroom. So I'm just um, cleaning the toilets, spraying some disinfectant spray on them, and then I'm going to let that sit while I wipe down the counters. Now I'm going to remove everything from the floors, the rugs, the trash can, all that good stuff so that I can vacuum and mop in here and really make sure that everything is clean. Moving on to the next bathroom, I'm just doing the exact same thing, um, but I did want to say I fixed my Dyson, or kind of fixed it. Um, I just made it to where it will work on the minimum setting so that I can still use it for hardwood floors. I just cannot use it for carpet anymore. I did buy a new vacuum. Um, I'll probably talk about that later, but um, I really do love it. It's a shark, and yeah, I'm glad that I bought it, but my Dyson is pretty much only used for hardwood now. School when they met, and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air, he would stare at her and claps, and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together. One day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful, and maybe I'll call you my sweetheart, and promise nobody can steal me away, then I am yours, cause I want you, and I wanted you to know. All right, so now we're moving on into the kitchen. I had actually sweeped the floors the day before, so I did not need to do that. But I'm just using my O-Cedar Spin Mop to mop the floors. I really do love this mop. Um, I don't like carrying on the bucket, but I think it gets the floors really clean. So if you've been eyeing it or going back and forth um, on buying it, I would recommend to go ahead and buy it because I really do like it. Baby, I only want you. Then 
and he said I wrote you a now I'm on my front porch. Um, an animal had brought up a dead bird, so I needed to get that off my porch. So I'm just sweeping that off really quickly. Good morning, you. guys. So today is Saturday. It's about 9 o'clock. It's actually 8.45. <laughs> we, me and the girls, are headed to Walmart. We are going to pick out um, Bristol's Halloween costume. I think I'm just going to get the baby, like, a warm Halloween sleeper. Because I'm not going to dress her up. Like, it's not, it's not that serious. <laughs> and we don't really, like, go door to door. Um, we just go to family. I just, I don't know. I don't trust people. So, um, anyway. Um, and then we have family pictures next weekend, so I'm gonna see if I can find some outfits. I think we're gonna go with like the black and white theme, um, with like some denim maybe thrown in there. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. But, so yeah, we're headed to Walmart and then I wanna get a fall candle for my kitchen. Um, I'm finally starting to feel like, yeah, I'm finally starting to feel like the fall vibes. So, um, yeah, we'll pick out Liam's outfit too. Um, so I want to get a fall candle. So anyway, um, I will show you what we get from Walmart when we get back. I slept until eight o'clock this morning, which was really nice. Um, I've been able to sleep a little bit longer now that the baby is like back on her normal schedule because in the hospital, like we just held her all the time because we couldn't put her down because um, of all of her wires and stuff and she couldn't lay flat and you know, anyway. So we just had to hold her so she got used to that. So the first like week that she was home, um, she got really used to that. So I finally have her back like on her normal schedule and it's going really well. So anyway, I'm finally able to sleep in a little bit longer. Of course, next week I go back to work. It only took eight weeks to get her on the schedule, but you know, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart and I'll show you what I what we get when I get back home. Hi. I have a large iced um, burnet with easy ice. Thank you. Have a great day. Me too. That is good. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> That's what keeps mommy productive. Productive of it. <laughs> Huh? You adopted of it. And what? You adopted of it. I still don't know what you said. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. Just a little. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. All right, we're going to get started. Can we have a sausage biscuit? Sausage burrito with hot sauce, two hash browns, and a blueberry muffin, and that's it. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Okay, so we are back from Walmart, but um, Peppa Pig was not an option. There was one Peppa Pig, but somebody had stolen the costume. So it only had the mask with it, but so we settled on Bluey. You want to show them that you're Bluey? Look. <laughs> you don't look too thrilled. She was not very happy, but she likes Bluey now. So anyway, I wanted to show you what I got from Walmart real quick. Okay, so besides the costume, I went ahead and got the kids their outfits for our family pictures. So Riley is going to wear this plaid black and white dress, and then it comes with some tights. Um, this is a three to six. I'm hoping that it will not swallow her by next weekend. She's, I went to put her in zero to three this morning and it's starting to get a little bit tight. So I went ahead and got a three to six. And then if we, if she wants to wear it again, then she can. So got that for her. For Bristol, I got her these little flat shoes. I was going to get her snow boots, but she refused. <laughs> so we got these little, um, flats and she can wear those with other things too. And then I got these little tights. Um, I figured I would let her wear the white ones. And then this little dress here is just like a sweater dress, but it comes like off the shoulders and it has little ruffles and stuff. So I thought that would be cute. And then Liam and Terry are going to wear white shirts with jeans and boots. Um, I have not decided what I'm going to wear yet. I think I'm going to wear a black long sleeve shirt with maybe like a plaid scarf if I can find it. And I would like to wear jeans, but I don't have any. So I don't know what pants I'm going to wear. I might just get some leggings and call it a day, but 
so yeah that's our family picture for the kids i still gotta go back and get me and terry stuff and then um i got this new candle here this cozy comfort it smells really good it smells really like cozy <laughs> but i have this candle warmer over here and i've had this candle going for a long time and it's kind of like losing its scent so i wanted to get a new candle for my candle warmer so it is Sunday. I am just in my bedroom. I'm trying to clean up everything in here, make our bed. I love making our bed every single day. It really makes me feel like more put together. Um, I try to make it every single day, but we did get a new bed as you can see, and we really love it. Um, like I said, I will talk about our new furniture and decor in a future video, but we really like it. It's a king size bed and it is just big enough for you know both of us and then if i need to sleep with one of the kids or whatever it's big enough too but we really love it and it was super cheap right now, moving on into the laundry room i am doing more laundry like i said laundry always needs to be done and honestly i am probably the one person in the house that doesn't wear as many clothes as everyone else my husband i don't know what he does during the day but he always has to change clothes like two or three times and it drives me insane let me know do you, do your husbands change clothes more than you do i don't know why it drives me so crazy but it definitely does <laughs> um but anyway i'm just moving on into the kitchen just unloading the dishwasher getting it ready for dishes for the day so they don't pile up in the sink and then i'm gonna make some breakfast I really love these sausage and gravy pot pies. They're like the perfect portion and they're super cheap. I think they're like 97 cents, um, but they are really, really good. If you're a fan of biscuits and gravy, I would highly recommend trying. And then I make it my coffee. I have the Starbucks dark roast with my Cold Stone Creamery creamer. And I actually really loved the dark roast coffee. Good morning, guys. So it is Sunday. I have just been kind of fiddling around the house. I am washing some bottles right now for my breast pump. Um, we get up about 6.30. My husband went to the gym and he's golfing and then later he's gonna take Liam to go get his Halloween costume. Um, so I just kind of stayed awake when I woke him up and I've just been doing some stuff around the house. It's just a typical Sunday around here. Um, but I wanted to, so yesterday, we went to my grandpa's um, 80th birthday, which was good. We met um, a lot of family that I'd never met before because they're all like older, older. And my my closest family, we just never really went around that side of the family. Um, so I met a lot of people that I'd never met before. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was good. And then um, I got to spend some time with my brothers and sisters that I haven't seen in a long time due to some family conflicts a long time ago. So I feel like every family has family conflicts, um, but I'm the type of person that if I feel like someone is toxic, I'm not going to deal with it. So I just cut off all contact and that's what I did. So. Um, Seeing them for the first time in five years last night was kind of weird, but thankfully my husband is a really like outgoing person and he adjusts well to those types of situations. So he like helps me come out of my shell a little bit. Um, so that was good. Um, so yeah, it was fun. The kids had a bunch of fun. They played with a bunch of kids, which my kids don't know a stranger. They'll play with any anybody's kids. So it was good. Um, but on my way home last night, I had got a text from my boss and she's like, hey, did you get my email? And I'm like, well, no, I haven't checked that email. Um, so basically she sent me a letter saying that she could not approve my request due to um, team morale and that it was such short of notice and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I'm going to meet with her on Monday to talk about alternatives, alternative options. I don't really know what the alternative option would be because I'm not going to give in and work Mondays and Tuesdays. So basically, I'm going in thinking that either she gives me my Thursdays and Fridays to work or she loses me altogether, which I'm like, is that not going to damage morale to lose someone, like an entire person? Like, I know my job. <laughs> what? So I don't know, we'll find out, but that'll be in the next vlog because I'm only doing a weekend vlog this time. But so yeah, 
yeah, um, I'm kind of nervous. It really upset me last night. I was up like half the night just thinking about it. And then like being with family that I've not been with in so long, I was, I just did not sleep very good last night. So anyways, um, I just did some dishes, cleaned up the house. I've got breakfast in the, um, microwave and I'm going to have a banana with it and sit down and feed my baby. I'll probably watch some YouTube videos, but We'll just have to see where the day takes us. I'm trying to kind of take it easy today just because um, I'm going back to work this week or, you know, supposed to be. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll just see where the day takes us. We had its time to say bye, baby, bye. I'll be, you'll be, yeah, we'll be fine. Hey guys, so it is um, the next day actually. Um, yesterday, we just kind of relaxed for the rest of the day. I got some cleaning done in the morning and then just relax for the rest of the day. Um, we've been watching Orange is the New Black again. <laughs> so we binged that for like, I don't even know how many hours, honestly. And then we went to bed pretty early. We were both pretty tired. Um, I think we, I showered at like 7.30 and then I was like out at like 8.15. So yeah, we went to bed pretty early, but um, I just got back from um, talking to my boss. And thankfully I was granted part-time until January. However, that came with a step down. So I am no longer a team leader. I'm just like, you know, a patient rep or, you know, whatever you want to call me. Um, so talk to her about like boundaries and stuff and all that. Um, I'm honestly kind of relieved um, just because that position comes with so much stress and there's just like so many expectations that I'm held to that I don't feel good about like you know I can't say certain things to certain people and I'm not supposed to be like friends with certain people and I just don't like that you know and every job that I've ever been in I've always been like in a leadership or management position and I feel like at this point in my life my number one priority is my family and I'm not good at balancing work and family if I'm in a position like that so anyway I'm I feel relieved that I stepped down I was upset um just because of some of the things that she was saying um but the fact of the matter is no one okay I can't say no one a lot of people don't like the fact that they have to go to work like if you like if you love your job I'm so happy for you <laughs> but I'm just not in love with working like you know I've said it before my perfect scenario would be working in a cubicle and doing data entry and not having to talk to anyone all day like that would be my perfect scenario but I work with the public and I have worked with the public since I was 16 years old and the fact is people are not nice and if you work in anywhere where people think that you serve them then most people are not very nice so I just don't enjoy working with the public and it's very known that I don't enjoy people <laughs> I'm not a people kind of person I'm not someone that is going to you know nonchalantly talk about the weather with you while you're standing there in front of me we're probably going to stand there in awkward silence and look at each other without saying anything because that's just how I am but anyway um, she wants me to work on that, which I've been working on that for a long time. I've gotten a lot better about striking conversation with people, but I'm not good at it. So anyway, but I wanted to go ahead and hop on here and end this vlog. Hope that you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me. It probably wasn't that eventful, but I hope that you got some motivation and some entertainment or, you know, whatever you gained from it. I hope that you liked it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.